If you are the one who loves picture books and uses storytelling for kids as one of the teaching strategies for language learning, or creates social games from picture book stories, or simply uses picture book stories to practice verbal communication, then this video is for you. I'll show you practical examples of English teaching methods where we'll turn everything into an easy English game. And how will we do that? We will use flashcards for kids and create active and student-centered learning and of course gamified learning. In short, we'll enable active learning through gamification. I'm Mia. I'm a teacher and a teacher trainer at Cool School Language School. I use picture books and do storytelling for kids to teach children English. I use so-called chess book teaching approach, which is actually project-based learning. So, as I said, today we'll go through the picture book The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. First, I'll tell you a short story plot. Then you will see how the plot can be used with young language learners by creating a problem-based task. I'll also talk what topics are covered in the story, what English grammar can be explained by using this particular picture book. I'll show you gamifying learning activities that are tailored from this picture book. They're both elementary games and then a social game that can enhance collaboration. And if you stick to the end, I'll tell you where you can get more teaching ideas and where you can learn more about chess book teaching. Let's get to it. When you tell a story to children in a foreign language, it is a good idea that you follow the storytelling for kids steps because they are created in a way that make children understand the story, even though if it is their first encounter with the English language. The storytelling for kids steps are all explained in the PBA basic course. You can find the links below in the description. So through storytelling, children learn the content of the story, the plot which is important because then they'll know what the games are about. So, the plot. There's this tiger who came to tea and he is very hungry. One day he knocks on Sophie's door and little girl is not frightened of him at all. Why should she be? Look at him, how cute he is. Sophie offers him all the food she has. Not only does the tiger eat all the food, but he also drinks all the beverage and empties the entire water tank so that Sophie cannot even have a bath when she goes to bed. It all ends well. Sophie and her mom go shopping the next day and fill in the house with loads of fresh food. And Sophie buys something special in case the tiger returns. But he doesn't. It's a brilliant story and has all the six necessary parts any good and engaging children's book should have the opening, the want, the progress, the conflict, the resolution and the conclusion. The conclusion, of course, is happy ending. The picture book provides plenty of opportunities for gamified learning. Children can play shopping for the tiger and while discovering different types of food and drinks in the store, they can make great supplies themselves in case the tiger comes to their house instead of Sophie's. Then, when they have lots of food, they can set the table and if the tiger doesn't come, then they can invite their friends to come over for dinner. All those mentioned games are social games because children interact with one another. And they're also problem-based activities because they saw problems. What should children buy for the tiger? What should they make for dinner? Who should they invite over for dinner? All these activities are very effective teaching strategies. They provide good opportunity for practicing communication skills, effective communication, and by using flashcards, then we create great tactile games for English grammar learning. In these activities, children are all the time in a role of active learning and thus they are motivated and engaged. So what grammar can children learn in the tiger who came to tea story? 
definitely learning plurals. It is one of the main English grammar learning activities that the Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr picture book provides. There are separate games on plural in our Chessbook Games channel. You can find them in the Tiger Who Came to Tea playlist. I have demonstrated the three basic grammar learning games for learning plurals, adding the suffix s, adding the suffix es, and plural with uncountable nouns. Check them out! With a story-based teaching, children constantly use different and various types of vocabulary from different topics while playing gamifying activities. They can learn about food, professions, home accessories, furniture, rooms, clothes, family members, and all this vocabulary can be easily connected with one another by using divergent and convergent associations and thus empower memorization. Thanks to a great picture book plot, of course. Judith Kerr herself made illustrations. Check out the book. Illustrations are great and can well serve for children's dictionary. Want to learn more? In the description below, you'll find the links to a free PDF where you can download the material to create a project based on the picture book How to Catch a Falling Star by Heidi and Daniel Howard. The links to our courses, including the free PBA mini course that gives you the insight on the chess book teaching problem-based learning and the videos demonstrating the learning of plurals that are connected to our tiger story. Would you like to hear about other great picture books that you can use for storytelling for kids and for English language learning? Well, first hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is the way how you're going to get all the notifications about the great books that you can use. Not to mention that by hitting the like button, you'll help many other teachers and parents that they'll get this video recommended and they can learn about how they can use this great book. And by hitting the like button is also your thank you to me. So like, subscribe and then search the links in the description below for the next videos. See you in the next video.